Good afternoon reception. For today's story time, I am going to read The Magic Porridge Pot. I'm really excited about this. All right. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I think we are ready to begin. Hannah had little money and even less food, but whatever she had, she always shared. One day, Hannah was out for a walk when she saw some bees. Aha! She thought, bees mean honey. As Hannah ate the honey, an old woman hobbled up, swinging an empty pot. Would you like some honey? asked Hannah. Oh yes, please, said the woman. It will go perfectly with my porridge. Porridge? What porridge? said Hannah. The woman smiled. Watch, she said. Cook, pot, cook! And with a sizzle of magic, steaming porridge filled the pot. Stop, pot, stop! Then just as quickly, it stopped. They each ate a bowl of delicious porridge, drizzled with sweet, sticky honey. Would you like the pot, said the woman. Remember the magic words and you'll never go hungry again. From then on, Hannah had plenty to eat. She had porridge for breakfast, porridge for lunch and porridge for supper. One evening, a greedy boy smelled the porridge. Mmm, what's that? He followed his nose to Hannah's cottage. He saw the pot start to fill with the porridge. Cook, pot, cook. I want that pot, said the boy. But Hannah drew the curtains so he didn't see it stop. The boy waited for Hannah to go to bed. Then he tiptoed in, grabbed the pot and ran all the way home. Oh dear. He couldn't wait to shout the magic words. Cook, pot, cook. And with a sizzle of magic, the pot filled with porridge. It got fuller and fuller. That's enough, said the boy. You can stop now. Oh, what a mess. But the pot didn't stop. Puddles of porridge poured onto the floor. It's making a big mess. That's too much, cried the boy. Stop, I tell you. Uh-oh. But the pot didn't stop. It filled the room with gloopy sealed porridge. Soon, porridge was pouring out of the doors and windows. Please stop, begged the boy. But the pot didn't stop. The boy splashed out into the night. Help! Stop, stop, stop! Stop, he yelled. I'll drown in porridge. But still, the pot didn't stop. He needs the magic words, doesn't he? In her bedroom, Hannah sniffed. That smells like porridge, she thought. She raced outside. Porridge was flooding down the street. Oh no, it must be the pot. Hannah shouted the magic words. Stop, pot, stop. And at last, the pot stopped. The greedy boy was saved. He couldn't return Hannah's pot fast enough. And he never stole anything again. The end. Oh, what a funny story. That greedy boy was very greedy, wasn't he? I hope you all enjoyed that story. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another one. Bye, everyone.